Kate Middleton shared her first ever solo outing with the Queen this week after eight years as a member of the royal family. So why did Meghan Markle less than a month for the honor? Kate Middleton, the Duchess of Cambridge, married the future king, Prince William in 2011. Yesterday she embarked on an official engagement with the Queen for the first time ever. But her sister-in-law Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Cambridge, who married Prince Harry in May 2018, was out and about with the Queen in June last year, sparking rumors Her Majesty has a favorite granddaughter-in-law. Kate and the Queen visited King's College's Strand campus on Tuesday, March 19, and seemed to get along well, sharing a blanket in the back of Queen's Bentley. The Queen and the Duchess of Cambridge have always got along well, often seen giggling together at events. But this has always been with other members of the royal family present. When Meghan and the Queen visited Chester on the royal train, they got on like a house on fire, with the Queen in fits of giggles. So it seems the Queen is fond of the company of the younger royal women. But why did it take so long for a solo outing with Kate? There is no obvious reason why Kate and the Queen have waited this long for a solo engagement. But there is speculation that the Queen might have been making more of an effort to support Meghan, seeing her Mar as a granddaughter, where she sees Kate as more of an equal and therefore lets her do her own thing. Judy James, a body language expert, backed up this theory. She told The Sun, Meghan might be the same age as Kate but she chose a very different body language behavior on her first public engagement with the Queen. Unlike Kate, who had spent years integrating slowly, Meghan was fast-tracked into her royal duties and as a result, her body language looked more youthful and compliant as she studied the Queen carefully as a newbie. She also entertains the Queen but as she appears to be making a joke she places her fingers to her mouth in a sweet schoolgirl style gesture, making the gesture look confiding or secret sharing. When it came to the interactions with Kate, Ms. James said, it's becoming increasingly clear from their body language together that Kate and her grandmother-in-law are friends as well as Queen and future Queen. The Queen takes a role-sharing approach when she's out with Kate. The intense mirroring says it all. Not only are they sharing a blanket as they sit together in the back of the car, their body language and their waves and style of wave is synchronized in a state called posture echo, where they show like-minded thinking by mirroring movement even when they're not looking at one another. The Queen looks relaxed and her smile appears congruent. Kate's eyes have caught the camera and her wide, round-cheeked smile signals genuine delight. Kate and the Queen tended to use signals of evenly based friendship but Meghan and the Queen look more like a grandmother and a much-loved granddaughter.